so we're going out for dinner. Shannon's taking me because she's so lovely. Yeah. It's my turn. We're going to the Grand Banker. I've been here before. It's really yummy. I've never been here and I live here. There's this picture doesn't look right. No. So it's yummy food. That's my dinner right there. We just got seated at the restaurant. We're in our little private section. A little cubby hole. <laughs> and we're about to eat some yummy food. We're really hungry. Like always though. I'm famous though. Famous or famished? Famished. And? Famous. Yep. <laughs> Are you shooting me with your pickle? Yeah. What did you get to eat? A pickle. And what is this? Smoked ham sandwich. And I got the healthiest thing on the menu. Potato skins. Pickle? No, I'm good. One the pearl onion or an olive? No, I'm good. Or pepper? No thanks. Or a salad? I'm gonna eat my calorie-free potato skins right now. I got craisins on mine. Yeah, are you crazy for craisins? Cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Now we are going to show you our dessert. You ready? Oh my goodness. Fudge, brownie, overload. Are you excited? Are you speechless? I'm going to eat that leaf. Are you supposed to eat that? It's a mint leaf. Oh. <laughs> Get that taste out of my mouth. Oh, I dropped it there. So I might as well just, you know. Yum. Oh, good. My turn. Colby is treating me and surprised me, and I'm really excited. We're going on a horse and buggy ride. Carriage? Horse Car and horse. Not really carriage. Carriage is like over here. Okay. Horse and buggy ride tour around Lunenburg. Horse and trailer ride. Yeah. We're gonna get on a trailer. No, ride. it's like a 35 minute tour and we're going on it right now. There's Duke, the horse that is gonna be taking us on the tour. Duke? Duke is his name. Really? And Butch is the, I don't know what you would call him, the person leading the tour. The real person. Yeah. What a beautiful evening it is. Yep. We had a big rain roll over here a little while ago. Mm. <laughs> to the right, you'll see a row of windows right underneath the red roof of the building. That's where they built the Blue Nose. The Blue Nose 2 they built in 1963. In the 60s, they also built the bounty there for the movie Mutiny on the Bounty. That yard is over 300 ships to its credit today and it's still building. Across the street, now is Ironworks Distillery. Before that, it was Walter's family old blacksmith shop. It was in the family for three generations. It was built in 1876 and done all the iron work for the shipyards up and down the shore here. Last year it was sold, now it's Ironworks Distillery. They distill vodka and brandy. Now their vodka, they have two flavors of vodka. One is cranberry and the other is black raspberry, I think. It's 1995, they made Lunenburg the UNESCO Heritage Town. It's the only old town dedicated to UNESCO and all of North America. Usually it's a building or a park or what have you. UNESCO starts here. This street goes to the other end of town and runs from the waterfront north to the academy. We're going to go by the academy on our tour. This lady puts a little church out every spring and keeps her flower boxes looking nice all summer long. <laughs> this lady puts a little church out every spring and keeps her flower boxes looking nice all summer long. <laughs> Go, go a little faster. That's not faster. <laughs> Over the doors in some of the houses here in Lunenburg, you're going to see stained glass. Now, years ago, that was a sign of well to do. It was only ships, captains, and very prominent townspeople could afford the stained glass. It had to be imported from England, 
and how they shipped it so it didn't get broken was in barrels of molasses. We'll see another one over this door here. We'll see a lot nicer ones than these couple that go around on our Across the street, the old armory building used to be used to train the sea cadets in. Now it's owned by the town, and they have their public works department in there. I don't know how you get furniture or appliances through that doorway. Mm -hmm. a nice stained glass right over the top of these two cars you're going to see the back end out. A really nice or whatever the case. And on the day, the wind would sit up there in the widow's watch and watch the harbor for the ship to come in. And back in the old days, the captain always painted their ship the same color they had their house painted, so they were easily identified. Over here on the right is the same idea. It's called the widow's walk. They go up through a trap hatch in the roof, walk around up there and watch the harbor for the ships to come in. That house belonged to a captain who went to sea and never returned. He was lost at sea. Red building at the end of the street on the right is called the Lennox Inn. The Lennox was built in 1804. It's the oldest wooden structure bed and breakfast still in operation in Canada today. Inside the Lennox there's nine bedrooms and nine fireplaces. Years ago, each bedroom had its own fireplace. No wonder somebody burn it down, but I guess in the old days they burned coal, and the sparks don't fly to coal like it does in wood. Lunenburg was settled by Germans, and in later years the French and the English followed. Across the way is the Pride of Lunenburg, the Lunenburg Academy was built in 1895 for a public school, and is still being used for that today. They used to teach classes primary through grade 12, Primary to grade six, only in the bottom two floors, the third and fourth class of one students off the Concordia use. In 1895, the cost to build a school was a little more than $34,000. Less than five years ago, they had it painted, and the bill for painting it was more than $30,000. Oh, I forgot to tell you that laborers' wages at the time in 1895 were $0.10 cents an hour. Isis and then for years and years, it was a few about five years ago it was sold again and now it's a privately owned home. It wouldn't be my idea of a privately owned home, but if he's happy, I'm happy. Just do it. The side of the guy's new house and he would get pretty kick. He knew where this old cannon was up to La Haven when spring come he bored his friend's oxen it was on wheels. He went up and drug it home, dug a hole there six feet deep and buried it wheels and all. He had no more problem with them running in his house in the winters after that. He had a bumper up for them. He also had the first indoor, the first indoor bathroom to be installed in Lunenburg, way up the top where the four little windows are. Why he went so high with it, I had no idea. We have our town hall and courthouse built in 1896 and is still in use today. The other side of the post office are war memorials for our fallen soldiers and the bandstand is a replica of one from the 1800s. Every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m., weather permitting, there's a band plays there. Up the street on the right is the United Church. That's the fifth church we could buy on our tour. Golf club. We got back from the horse and buggy ride, and how did you enjoy it? I loved it. It was really nice. Even though I'm from the area, I learned a lot about it, like the oldest houses and yeah. yes, definitely. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hey.